Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, thank you for coming along to, uh, to EU Skills event to celebrate uh, the work that we've been doing on the sector priorities for the SPF project. Energy will be at the very heart of growth uh, on Anglesey, economic growth on Anglesey for many years to come. Now, that growth, be it on Anglesey or anywhere else in Wales, cannot happen unless we have the skills in place to drive that economic growth. And we need to have the right skills, we need to have the right skills at the right time. That's certainly the big challenge that we've got coming uh, up in Anglesey. We really want to have the skills for Indigenous people, but we also want to be a magnet for high skills energy companies and other utilities from around the world to invest here. So for that we need a proper skills pipeline, skills development. The groundwork we get on this project will help feed into that approach to support skills and a workforce that maximises the opportunities for Wales. So I just want to sum up by saying that this project is very much on task for us, very much on target, <coughs> that we're very proud of it, that we're very grateful to the work that's been put in by the sector council and by the skills sector generally, by the employers, by the employees. Much of the workforce we already have is an ageing workforce. And so over the time of this plan, so over the next five years, we not only have to plan for the growth, the exponential growth in, uh, that this represents, but also the replacement of the workforce, uh, very experienced, very well-valued workforce that's already in place. So, yeah, and that is a that is a problem for now, not one that we can postpone.